Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, we are going to take a look at invoicing and the payments workflow on ERP Next. So these are the things that we'll be uh, going through today. So the first part is invoicing. How do we create sales and purchase invoices and define payment terms on the invoices? Next part is about recording payments against an invoice or an on account payment either made by a customer or to a supplier. And in the end, we'll be taking a look at the receivable and the payable reports, which will show us what is the outstanding amount uh, to a supplier or from a customer. We can create an invoice either from a sales order or a purchase order, uh, or we can just go to the accounting module and create a sales invoice or a purchase invoice. So let us go ahead and create a sales invoice. First thing we'll have to do is punch in the customer name, add the items that are being sold and if we have the tax and charges templates configured it will calculate the taxes that are applicable um, and then we can set the payment terms and templates so this is something that i have pre-configured so i'm saying that the payment will be due in three slabs one is advance which is 10 percent of the invoice amount which will be due immediately on raising the sales invoice and the next slab is on delivery uh, which is about 45 which is 45 percent of the invoice amount and which will be due after 30 days of invoice and installation which will be due 40 days after the invoice uh, date once we do that we can go ahead and save and submit the invoice so now these amounts will show up as receivable in accounts receivable we can take a look at that from the accounts receivable refresh the report so right now what you see that this is the invoice that we just created for Maharashtra distributors if we want to see the receivable account based on payment terms we just need to select this flag and it will show us based on uh, due dates based on the payment terms that we have defined on the invoice so as you can see out of the 17,700, 1,770 is due on uh, 5th of September, which is uh, due immediately. And this part is due 30 days after the invoice date. And this, this amount is due uh, 40 days after the invoice date, which we have set on the payment terms and templates. So this is how we see the accounts receivable and similarly we can take a look at the accounts payable report take a look at how do we record payment entries on ERP next so based on whether it is a payment entry to a supplier or from a customer select the payment entry option create a new payment entry select party type as customer as Maharashtra distributors and this will be either a cash account or a bank account and if the customer is making an on account payment and the association or allocation to individual invoices is not known we can make an on account payment without associating the payment uh, to any invoices or we can associate the payment to one or more of the outstanding invoices and we can fetch those invoices from this button so right now i'm just going to go ahead and make an on account payment without associating it with any of the invoices save submit so now a payment has been recorded from maharashtra distributors of 10000 rupees now let's say at a later date we want to associate this amount with one of the invoices we can do that by going to accounting 
going to match payments with invoices you can select the company which is our company party type as customer party as Maharashtra distributors and then we can click this button get unresiled unreconciled entries which will get all unreconciled payment entries and then we can go ahead and associate this with one of the unpaid invoices right, and just click on the reconcile button it will reconcile the open payment entries we can go to check if the payment was associated with the invoice we can go to the accounts receivable report and check on this invoice for this invoice uh, the invoiced amount was 17,000 and the paid amount was 10,000 rupees so this concludes our video on invoicing and payments thank you for watching the video and feel free to contact us if you have any questions or if you would like to know more about our implementation services thank you